Nam Joo Hyuk was born on February 22, 1994 in Busan, South Korea as the only child of his parents. At the age of 16, he moved to Suwon. During his studies in Jeonnam Middle School, Nam dreamed of becoming a professional basketball player, hence he played on the basketball team for three years, however after sustaining an injury and later undergoing an operation, his basketball days soon came to an end. He did not study in college as he thought it was not at all required. After moving to Seoul, he won the contest top model which was sponsored by K+. Soon after, Nam signed an exclusive contract under the modeling agency. Nam debuted in 2013 as a model for the Songzio Um 2014 Spring Summer Collection. The following year, he got featured in music videos of Actong Musician, 200% and Give Love, as well as made his acting debut on TV in the drama The Idol Mermaid. During this time, he also guest starred in an episode of Saturday Night Live Korea. In 2015, the Korean actor was cast as Han Ian in the teen drama series Who Are You? School 2015. He garnered attention with his appearance in the series, eventually winning several accolades. In 2016, he played supporting roles in college romance series Cheese in the Trap and historical drama Moon Lovers, Scarlet Heart Ryo. He then starred in his second lead role in the youth sports drama weightlifting fairy Kim Bokju alongside Lee Sung Kyung, portraying a talented yet playful swimmer named Yoon Joon Hyung. Nam's performance in the series received favorable reviews and garnered him more widespread recognition. In April 2017, Nam Joo Hyuk's agency reported that he and actress model Lee Sung Kyung are in a romantic relationship. However, on August 18, they revealed that both have ended their relationship due to their busy schedules. In 2017, he led TVN's fantasy romance series The Bride of Havoc opposite Shin Se-kyung, wherein he portrayed a narcissistic water god in pursuit of his rightful throne. The same year, Pen Shop signed Nam as the new model of the clothing brand and he became one of its brand ambassadors. Then in 2018, Nam starred in the historical film The Great Battle, which marked his big screen debut. On April 17, 2019, it was officially announced that Nam was chosen as the brand ambassador of Dior Men in Asia. In 2020, Nam starred in Netflix's supernatural crime drama The School Nurse Files and in the TVN romance series Startup. With the success of The School Nurse Files and Startup, Nam was featured in Forbes 30 Under 30 Asia list under the Entertainment and Sports category in 2021. Nam then worked with Kim Tae-ri in leading the TVN drama 2521. The series, which tells the story of love between a man and a woman who met in the midst of the IMF crisis set in 1998. He received favorable reviews for his performance in portraying the character Becky Jean, with Korean media outlet OSEN referring to Nam as the symbol of youth as they commended his acting skills which created what is known as the Juhyuk's Hyuk's Pain Syndrome. Nam starred in the film Remember, which was released theatrically on October 26, 2022. He played the role of a young man who helps an Alzheimer's patient commit revenge. Like many Korean celebrities, once they get very famous, there are some people that want to destroy it. Nam was accused of school bullying during his middle school and high school days. According to an exclusive report from the day's news, an informant told the media outlet that Nam Joo Hyuk was known to hang out with bullies during school. The groups of bullies weren't small either, getting up to 15 students. Nam Joo Hyuk was accused of shoving and hitting classmates, cutting in line during lunch, and swearing at others. He was also accused of using students as a bread shuttle, which is a term for a bully using another student to run errands for them with the threat of punishment should they reject any orders. The informant also mentioned an incident where they claimed Nam Joo Hyuk threw mechanical pencil lead at them and also pulled out their chair as they were trying to sit down. They also stated that there are other classmates who have experienced worse bullying at the hands of Nam Joo Hyuk and are currently receiving psychiatric treatment. Nam's management company denied the allegations and stated that they were untrue, and announced that they would seek criminal complaints against the netizen. On June 28, another person made school bullying accusations against Nam which were again denied by his management. 
this controversy seems to be a bit different from the others, as many netizens believe that the initial accuser may not have credible evidence. Additionally, the initial accuser had lost credibility after changing the claims he initially made after the actor's management agency stated they would take strict legal action. On July 5th, Korean news outlet Dispatch published an article containing statements of 20 people, two high school teachers and 18 classmates of Nam, defending him against the allegations. One of ex-classmates said, the punishment in our school back then was really severe. It was really strict. There was no culture of a group of bullies hanging out. If one student was picked on like that, the teachers would have taken issue with it and made a fuss. As well, a teacher commented. Nam Joo Hyuk was a student who would tell everyone guys, let's be quiet, if his classmates were being noisy. If someone was fighting, he would mediate the two and say let's not fight guys. I don't know what misunderstanding the accuser had but Nam Joo Hyuk is not a kid who was a bully. Lastly, Nam Joo Hyuk's homeroom teachers in the first and third years swore on their careers to defend Nam Joo Hyuk. Teacher Park Tae Yak explained, I swear on my career. It was during the time when punishment was allowed. Even female teachers would carry around sticks. Mothers would bring sticks to the teachers asking us to hit their kids to make them into decent people. It was a time when bullying could not happen. Nam Joo Hyuk was an optimistic and adventurous kid. He also had a sense of justice. I liked that part of him and also rebuked him for it. There was no one who hated him. He's not the type to bully others. Some people hate dispatch, but in these cases, dispatch is amazing. They work better than a police. A YouTuber released a video showing the accuser being forced to spar with a classmate. Nam Joo Hyuk is not seen in the video, but the video seems to contradict a former classmate's assertion that bullying and forced sparring did not take place in their class. However, Nam's agency denied his involvement in this and the investigation is still ongoing. Now Nam is doing his military service. Hopefully, when he comes back, everything is going to be fine. It's very hard to prove that you are innocent when someone accuses you of bullying, but in this case, 20 people from that school said Nam wasn't bullying anyone. So it holds some weight. What do you think about this? Is he innocent or not? Thank you for watching and if you have any recommendations for the next video, please, leave a comment below.